Hey guys, welcome to Road America. Now, I've just updated my my skin. I love this livery. Go to um, Trading Paints. They're always updating stuff. It is awesome. There's always brand new liveries, and there's some people like Don Craig here who puts a lot of effort into the liveries, and I reckon that for a front end. The eyes, the mouth on this Porsche look great. Now, Daylight Savings for me is... Um, well, it's kind of a gift. It, it might seem that people have, um, people might think that I've given up on this car, but it's a daylight savings thing. It means that I have to... Good luck, guys. Let's have a clean one. Yeah, good luck with that. It means that I've got a, it's a 3.15 a.m. race, where now that it's daylight savings, it means it's a 4.15 a.m. race, which means I can get up, have a coffee, a little bit of practice, and uh, see how we go. So there's going to be a lot more Porsche content from here on in for the next six months. I uh, really want to get my head around the car and yeah, but it does mean that things that were 4am are now a 3am race for me. So uh, less radicals, more Porsche. Let me know what you think. Thanks to everyone who's subscribed lately. Really appreciate it. If you haven't yet, click on that subscribe button down below. Hopefully I can give you some good content. Now I've got an optimal of a two nineteen six, which is only a second track temp or so is twenty eight Celsius away from 14th. the other guys. Ah, cool, we've got delivery. Lightning McQueen is on the car. <laughs> Follow car number fourteen in the right lane. I think this is gonna be the second split. Rock and roll, buddy. Let's go. Come on. Hello. Bloody hell. Radio check. Loud and clear. Thank you. You need to catch up to the guy ahead. You get moving, Glenn? Yeah, the guy sat there for ages and then he ulto forward. Good luck, mate. You too, buddy. Catch the number two car, which is the white one. Yeah. <coughs> so I've changed my field of view in one of the cars, which has affected most of the other cars. I think it was the F3. I changed it, and I can actually see the whole dash of the Porsche now. Um, so I'm sitting a bit further back. Feel a bit more confident. But yeah, I think this is the second split, which is a good thing because I haven't had enough time in this car lately. But if you make it to the top split, quite often you just get in the way. Even to the Audis. <laughs> I actually set my alarm early this morning at 2.30, hoping that um, opening screen that shows the time, I'll be able to record it going from 2, because it's daylight saving, from 2.59am to 2am, as it ticks over, but I set my alarm and, I don't know, changed the times early. Which meant my alarms were instead of 2:30 was 3:30, and I woke up going, "Ah, oh, damn!" And it's a pretty cool track to be getting back into the Porsches. It hasn't got that sweeping undulation like Sonoma or Laguna Seca has. Um, Sabring was pretty cool in this car. It's a lot more suspension travel than I'm actually used to. Apart from the skippies, of course. So some nice long straights. Uh, 
we'll see how we go with this rolling start. Trying to get some front temp. The other good thing now, I can see my tire pressures. This setup that I've got from Moo, I think his name is. Still doing that. Something that he played around with um, on the Nürburgring. Get ready, time to focus. Take the cars in. Green, green, green. Let's do this. It's Road America, turn one always has its antics on lap one. Break it before the footpath. Right side. Still there. Still there. Clear right. Nice one, Glenn. Good start. Thomas is leading the race. This car feels really good today. Uh, you want the inside, it's all yours. So I'm going to break early, keep it safe, give you a nice open door. Far left. Still there. Left side. There's an incident in. Turn five. You think it might no be Clear to the left. That's the main thing. Go good. Incident in. Turn seven. That was P1 out. Yep, be spewing. All right. That means I'm going to be on the Still outside there. Now. Just clear tuck right. it in. You're clear. Thanks, Jim. Oh, five o'clock. <laughs> When I first jumped on this track today, I missed this corner completely. A quick reminder that left side, clear left. He's saying an open wheel formula car. So good, Paul's there, he's probably going to have a good old crack. You're welcome to it, buddy. Still want a bit more tyre pressure. I was doing that sweeper in practice, 185, but a little bit of respect and I was getting about 10 k's an hour out of it.
Ford has just done it. 218.91. It's a 21.1. The lap time was 221.15. Well good, buddy. Is well good. Off the pace. Stuff, but come on, Nackers. When they first bought this out and said they were going to do it with the Audis, I was like, oh man, really? But there's a lot of similarities between this and the Audi. Well, one tiny little mistake. those tiny little advantages which is a thank you touring car for the trait yeah, when you gain Watch the V8 supercars in real life, for example, and the differences are actually quite small. It's the mistakes where you lose, and the consistencies where you gain. And Paul's doing a really good job behind me. He's going to have a crack sooner or later. And there's a mistake in front. Tony's off. He's still there. Keep it steady. And he's right still off. there. Clear to the right. Okay, stay with him. Six. Don't be greedy, Nackers. Nearly. <laughs> There's the optimal in the 19s, which is good. I need to be in the 19s. I think mean, I don't really have a reference. Usually I check out. Uh, 
uh, the results of previous races, just to gauge where I'm okay. supposed to be. Yellow flag, caution, that's 20 minutes to go. He's off, he hit the wall. Starting to grip up. The gap in front has increased to 19. So this setup is um, it's on my Discord channel. Go check out the, the links below. I'm loving it. There's an incident in Canada corner. It looks like oh, Gonzalez. I love an incident in Canada. Yellow flag. Keep your wits about you, mate. Don't flinch. Come on. your nerve, just keep it smooth, no mistakes. So what do we do here? Do we what side? Lock him out. We're all up. So I learned a lot from Sabring. This Sabring, you um, it's so bumpy. 
so I learned to work with the computer aids. So in practice, I had my ABS at uh, six. 15 minutes remaining, 15 minutes to go. Halfway home, we've got plenty of fuel. Well, when I first started in this car, I had everything at one, you know, minimal. Just don't lock up. The gap in front has increased, it's now about 0.9. But it meant that I had a really loose car that I couldn't catch. He's been greedy. This guy get away from me. But he's a better driver than me, <laughs> so I reckon he will. that I've got Ben there. Alberto's not happy, he's given the owl flash. Alright Glenn, don't let this guy distract you. I'm trying not to mate. Not bad. 
Not good either. Ten minutes remaining. Ten minutes. All right, Glenn. Double chances here. Let's make sure we can take them. Don't be greedy. Left is uh, about 151 now. Lucas and Arnie up there still battling. Come on, Lucas. Knuckles. better but I nearly had a 219 on my own then. Eh? 220 flat. Set to three years, 1.1 seconds off the pace. <sighs> that didn't work. Gotta try new things though. Steady. We're right. B9. 
Ray cars behind me. Okay, Glenn, five minutes to go, five minutes left. Come on, this one. Good. I know I've got him there, but he's got me pretty much everywhere else. Position. Don't let him through. to a second now, that puts a pack of three up ahead, I move over so Ben has no slipstream, the two behind him do, and uh, you've just done a 221.23, it's quite along here. <laughs> okay, Glenn, you've got half your fuel left. Get out of the hole, go. Who? Oh, I don't think so, Tim. That's two minutes left. Two minutes. Come on, stuff it. Fifth move, Nathan. Stop you. Right flag fever. So that was actually P1. To go. Just all about defense. <laughs> Come on. So far, so good. How are you gonna fucking go there? Looks like P4 has gone off in turn six. Good. How are you gonna push that fucking nose in? Come on, Nakas. Oh, they're way too far ahead to even. Here we go. Damn. He got past. Oliver got past. So I don't know my advantages over Oliver yet. Find out in a sec. Thank you. 
fucking idiot. Far left? Clear left. Good racing. That was awesome mid-pack racing, guys. Gotta plug the channel. Good racing, Emilio. It was quite catchy. In. Turn one. P9. There we go, it's over. Bring it back round. Easy there, Tigers. I thought you had me there, Oliver. <laughs> I mean, it, it seems like if you look forward the whole time, it was a, a mirror race for you guys there because it was on. Just stuffed it. A zero X race, I think. Maybe a one X. So I was just hanging on. Just hanging on. I heard that radio chat, and they're going off on the radio. Just tried to get out of the hole, but he did. These both both did proper braking, where I was a bit compromised. Yum, coffee. And my crappy braking up here. He had a crack, but it compromised him. But he got out of the hole worse than I did. It gave <laughs> gave him the advantage, nice and clean. And then it was just me shitting myself because I knew he was coming. I knew he'd have the slipstream. I knew he had better braking. I'm not even using the whole circuit. Just trying to get through. Get out of the hole as good as I can. And I don't want to weave. But I want to show here that he's not having the corner there. Because he had the advantage. I could see him just closing into the mirror. Get it there. And then go defensive here. But it meant he wasn't going to get under me. And just without weaving, just move it across a little bit. My corner, I'm in front, no contact, but show him that he can't get on the throttle early enough for the drag strip. Good race. Yeah, no worries, Emilio. I uh, I didn't want to kill us both after all that. I was uh, I've been killed three times doing this race so far this week. Just happy to finish. This is the move. Good racing. He's defensive. Moves it across a little bit. I don't think it's worth abusing because he's just lost momentum now. Then it's a three way battle up here. But he wants his position back. That's the bullshit move. That's crap. So they go from you know, really good clean racing to I mean, maybe he turned in a little bit early. I don't know. He didn't turn it at all at this stage. So he's gonna understeer, tap his rear. He hasn't just taken this guy out. As the car flicks, taking himself and the guy behind out.
they get up and running again? That's how far ahead they were. Backers. Way back. Hey, thanks for the subscription, Planets. But yeah, Paul did a fantastic job. Look at that, an 18.6. He's, um... Consistency beat me for sure. Just didn't make a mistake. There was that point where I made a mistake and yeah, I wasn't going to catch it. Well, I did catch it, but there was no way I was going to um, come back from it. <laughs> Let's have a look where we ended up, eh? I'm happy that I got that racing. It's... um. Something that's been bugging me for a couple of weeks. I didn't even participate in Sonoma. So it was 1827 strength of field. It was the second split. I started 14th and finished in 9th. Fairly solid. Happy with that. Finally. <laughs> 4.5 safety rating. I needed that. I just had a 0x race at Bathurst and then a 1x race here. Good stuff. Well, tell me what you think, guys. You staying with the Porsche? I am. I am definitely staying with the Porsche. And now that Daylight Savings is there, hopefully get my head around it a lot more further into the season. So Road America got snedded and next. Oh, that's going to be tough. 30 minutes there. The 300, the big circuit. Suzuka, Silverstone, Mid-Ohio, Road Atlanta, Donington, Brazil, and then Bathurst. All 30-minute races. Thanks for watching, guys. Give us a thumbs up if you liked it. Down if you didn't, make sure you subscribe and come check me out on Twitch. And I'll see you next time. Bye.